Um, what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about all the scholarship, what is provided by Capel Business School. And we have um, the very helpful and talented Miss Neha D'Souza, who is the regional manager from Capel. Thank you so much, Neha. Thanks, Mangarish. Thank you. Thank you so much for giving us time. Uh, we've come to, like, you've told us, you've sent us an email about, you know, different scholarships. Uh, I know we are coming out of COVID, which, you know, the market is opening up and, uh, and I believe there is a positive sign which is going into the market, which is a very good sign for all of us, um, including, of course, our student cohort as well. And, and Capel Business School has come up with some great scholarships. Uh, can you please tell us what are the scholarships all about and whether it's for which courses? I mean, as the name of the college concern, it's, it's Capeland Business School. So I hope most of the business courses would be, you know, uh, considered for those particular scholarships. So floor is all yours, Neha. Please go ahead. Thanks, Mangirish. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Neha, as Mangirish uh, mentioned. Uh, and today I'll be talking about scholarship opportunities that are available. Um, what I'll do is I'll share my screen just so that we have some reference point. And then I'll go into the, the scholarship details. So just give me one minute. Um, hopefully you can see this clearly, Mangarish. I might just look at you for- Yes, we can, we can. Thank yeah, you. okay, perfect. Um, so these are the scholarships that are actually available. Um, and I will go into detail into each one of them. So the first one is the regional scholarship, which is 10 uh, now, this, often there's a confusion that it might only apply for regional campuses, but that's actually not true. This scholarship is available across all campuses. We have five campuses in Australia, which is Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, Adelaide, and Perth. So it doesn't matter which campus you're interested to study in, you could apply for the 10% regional scholarship. There is just a certain academic uh, criteria that you need to meet. Um, and if you meet that academic criteria, students can apply for that. It's usually about 60%. So if you are eligible for that, you can definitely apply. Uh, sorry, um, yeah, sorry to interrupt yeah. you. Uh, before we go ahead, can you please tell us um, when is yes. the next, next intake and what are the last day where students need to consider uh, so that they are eligible for the scholarship or probably because, of course, we need to see the criteria and stuff. But yeah. what is the next intake where they can think of these scholarships? Absolutely. So um, our next intake is actually March intake. So this month, um, orientation starts on 17th of March. The last date for application is 26th of March. And the last date for acceptance is uh, 31st. Excellent. So basically, um, students have until 26th of March to apply or submit applications to study with us. Um, and usually scholarship applications should always be submitted at the time of application or at the time when your offer letter is being processed. Um, that's when we will usually assess a student scholarship. Um, yeah. All right. Perfect. Um, yeah. So that's, um, as I mentioned before, that's the regional scholarship. It's uh, just going back to your previous question on which courses would this apply for? The regional scholarship is actually available across all our courses. So it doesn't matter if you are doing a bachelor degree or a master's degree, because we do offer undergraduate and postgraduate level business courses specifically. So it doesn't matter which, uh, you know, kind of course you want to study, you can apply for this 10% regional scholarship, right? Um, the next scholarship that we'll go into is the high achiever scholarship, which is 30%. Um, this, as the name suggests, um, if you have really good academic scores, um, you can look into applying. This is, again, available across all our campuses, and it is available across all our courses. This is also available for the March intake. So all the scholarships that I will be talking about today are available for our March intake. Um, so students can actually um, look into applying for it. And obviously, um, Aussies group are very familiar with the criteria, so I won't touch into too much detail on that, um, they can guide any potential student with it. Um, so that's the High Achievers Scholarship. Um, the next one is Alumni Scholarship. If you have actually completed a degree with Kaplan Business School and are looking for um, you know, future study options, um, well, you've already had a taste of our student experience, you've already you know, sort of studied with us, you, you know firsthand what the experience is like. Um, you could actually be eligible for an alumni scholarship because you have completed a degree with us. So if somebody has finished bachelor's and wish to go for ma master's of business yes. administration or, you know, any other course, they can 
straight away 30% off from their total course fees. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Um, because they are our alumni. Um, the next scholarship um, is, I, I just feel like it's a lot of percentages, uh, but the, the next scholarship is uh, our primary healthcare leadership scholarship. I'll just give a little bit of context in terms of why we introduced before, this. Before you do that, um, the primary yes. health leadership scholarship, I would like to mention and, you know, vouch out for Kaplan Business School because last year when the COVID started, Kaplan Business School is a, one of the few um, colleges and universities who has come up with this uh, primary health care leadership scholarship which is i think it's it's about giving back to the community um so congratulations on that one and it's still going on which is very good to see so thank you so much yes thanks bangrish this was actually our attempt just to um you know like a thank you to the health workers of our community who have sort of made amazing contributions during the pandemic and continue to do so um and so um this is what we introduced last year this one, though there are specific eligibility criteria, this only applies for our MBA specialization health services management. So it's not available for all courses. Um, and that's because we're, you know, um, looking at giving it to health workers who have been working as frontline health workers over the last 12 months or so. So as long as you meet certain eligibility criteria and you have been working as a frontline health worker, um, you could be eligible for this 50% scholarship into our MBA course specializing in health services management. So that's the specialization. Um, so yeah, this is uh, probably one of the scholarships that has a very specific course criteria. All the other scholarships are usually available across all. Um, all right, um, the next one. So uh, the, the fee reduction um, is usually, um, this is for our offshore students who are thinking of starting to study with us, they do have a fee reduction of 20% 20, 20 for the duration of their online offshore study. Um, so that's just another uh, option for any offshore student that is thinking of starting or probably who has an offer with us, who has a COE with us and is considering, um, you know, to start studying. Um, any questions at this point before I, I move forward with any of the other scholarships? Uh, the numbers, what you mentioned, that is basically yes. for, the, for the full tuition fee. Am I correct? Absolutely, yes. That's a great question. And yes, all these scholarships are actually available for the entire duration of the course. It is not specific. I'd only like to mention that the online offshore fee reduction is for the duration of the online offshore study. So um, once a student commences in campus, then the, the fee reduction would not apply. Um, but yeah, uh, any other scholarship that the student has in combination with that, which is a merit-based scholarship, would apply throughout. Throughout. Perfect. Cool. Thank you. Um, not a problem. Um, the last two, which is um, firstly the postgraduate qualifying program. This is a new course that we um, started um, late last year, actually. Um, and the, the purpose of this program, why we introduced this program, is because we noticed that um, a lot of students have previous qualifications that are recognized as bachelor degree, probably in their home country. But when you compare it with the Australian um, education, it might not be recognized as an Australian bachelor degree. It could only be recognized maybe as an Australian advanced diploma or an Australian associate degree. And there are a number of factors for this. It could be the section of the university. It could probably be the grades. Um, so because of that, a bachelor degree in a student's home country might not necessarily be equal to an Australian bachelor degree. But mostly, in most cases, they are usually you know, equivalent to an associate degree, which is at a pretty good AQF level. Mm -hmm. And so we introduced this program um, that once a student studies this program, they bridge this gap of AQF level and they can then get entry into our graduate certificate leading to masters. So it's a pathway into entering postgrad study instead of, you know, previously where there was probably no or limited options for the student. Now they have this course that they can do as a pathway to studying graduate certificate and master. So they can start enrolling sooner rather than later. Uh, and this program for March intake is 100% uh, you know, there's, there's no cost to it. Mm -hmm. It's a pathway program, but students can opt for it and it's free of cost. They only uh, pay a tuition fee for the graduate certificate and master's, which is a package. The entire package would be 
postgraduate qualifying program leading to a grad certif graduate certificate leading to a master's. So the entire PQP component is free of charge and you only pay the tuition fee for the graduate certificate and the master's. Um, so that's why it, it says 100% over there. Yep. Um, and the last one is all our March starters um, will get $500 credit. This is specific only for March intake. Again, this is part of our financial support package that we have been actually offering since um, July of uh, 2020. So it, we introduced it in around May 2020, which is basically every trimester we, you know, sort of give um, students or help students financially um, by giving these uh, support or credit to students for each trimester, because we know that, you know, COVID has affected students' ability to pay their tuition fee. It's a, it's a big expense for students. And so just in our attempt to try and, you know, alleviate or reduce that expense, we've been offering this. This is trimester by trimester. So this $500 support is only available for any student starting in March for trimester one only. So only for trimester one, their tuition fee will be reduced by $500. And this will appear in their offer letter. Um, so, you know, they can actually see this. Um, the only time I would say this would not be applicable is if a student scholarship is beyond 30%. Um, so if a student has probably got, say, the primary healthcare leadership scholarship, which is 50%, um, that scholarship itself is pretty high. So that's why um, they would forfeit this. But otherwise, for all the other brackets of scholarships that I mentioned, um, they would be eligible for this $500 new starter support. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Neha. Uh, guys, as you can see, there are scholarships ranging from 10 to 100 percent, which pretty much covers, of course, there are certain criteria uh, with that one. I'm sure that if you reach out to any of the Aussies group offices, um, whether you're in any state from Brisbane um, to Sydney to Adelaide to Melbourne to Perth, we have offices in, in near to you. Um, if you are in Melbourne itself, we have five offices starting from Very B, Thomastown, Clayton, and we have two offices in the city as well. Feel free to reach out to any of the offices where you can get information about these wonderful scholarships. Um, alumni, of course, is, you know, straight 30%. So those students uh, who finish already their course, uh, it's a straight 30% off. So reach out to us. If there is anything, we can definitely help you out. Um, for those students who finish their course and wishes to, you know, gain more knowledge uh, while in Australia, um, feel free to reach out to us as well. Uh, Neha, before going, uh, let's put ourselves in, in a student's shoes and let's talk about um, why we should go for these scholarships. Of course, there are, you know, great way to start your or advance your career. But at the same time, when the pandemic is kind of getting over, I like to say that one, honestly, because the vaccination has come out and, you know, the positivity is coming back to the market. Um, why should people come to KBS? Um, I think the number one reason why students opt for KBS generally is because of the kind of student support that we offer. Um, mm -hmm. You know, scholarships are great and it's obviously the need of the hour, um, you know, and as long as, you know, the students meet the criteria, it's great that they are eligible for the scholarship. But at the same time, the experience of the student when they start studying, the kind of support that they get during the course of their study, whether it is academic, whether it is in careers, whether it is just answering any questions that the student has, because online study still is very much a reality. We're continuing to offer blended learning, which is face-to-face -face as well as online version, because we do still have students who are not, you know, probably comfortable to come into the classroom or don't have that option because they're based in a different city or a different country. So online study is still going on. And with it, uh, any challenges that come with online study, um, you know, where students have so many questions and they need that clarification, you need a very strong support system um, mm -hmm. to be available for students during your study. Um, and so that's always been uh, something that is of focus for us uh, at Kaplan Business School and will continue to be. And so choose Kaplan Business School if you want that kind of support. Um, we take care of you uh, throughout your course of study as well as beyond, even after graduation. And so that would be the number one reason I would say um, for students to choose Capital Business School. 
Perfect. Thank you. And uh, before we go, 26th of the March is the date when the applications can be accepted and uh, the offer letters and everything. And 31st of March would be the last day of the acceptance. Uh, so guys, as you can see, Nia has given some comprehensive information about the different scholarships. Um, primary healthcare, I think, was the one which was a very eye-catching from last year. Uh, we talked about it. So thank you so much, Nia, for giving more information on that. And the last one is $500 new starter support. Uh, that is for the students who are starting in March itself. Uh, so if you're if you're planning to you know advance your career or if you wish to um, uh, you know study more, feel free. You you are any students who are starting in March is eligible for that particular course. So as we said, um, there is an Aussie's office near you, uh, except you are in Darwin or Tasmania. Of course, we are just one phone call away. But if you are in any other main cities or uh, you know the. The, the big cities of Australia, as we call it, uh, one Aussie's office would be definitely near you. So guys, reach out to us. I don't want to take more time off uh, on this one because we've, we've talked about it on comprehensively. Uh, and Neha, thank you so much once again for your time. Um, I know you've been busy once we come back um, from COVID and you know everything is started back. Uh, so thank you so much. Uh, and thanks to Kaplan Business School for providing very much needed information at this point of time. Um, guys, remember 26th March and 31st March, these are the two dates which we need to remember, but don't wait till 26th March. You can finalize your admission before that one as well. The offices are back you know, working. Um, if you don't wish to come out, you can give us a call as well and we can help you over the phone as well. Um, thank you so much, Neha. Have a great day and uh, hope to see you soon. Thanks, Mangarish. Thank, thank you. you. Bye-bye.